Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. It's a Sunday today, a nasty rainy Sunday. Um, tomorrow morning, Monday morning, I gotta get started on the prep for sale of our 2011 Mazda CX-9. Now my wife has had this car for six or seven years. Uh, it's only got, I mean, it's got 165,000 miles on it. It's in great shape mechanically, but it needs a detail really bad. So that's what we're about to, I guess, get rolling on. So tomorrow I'm going to start the detail. Uh, today I'm going to show you what the car looks like before I even touch it. Uh, so last night or yesterday I spent most of the day learning how to do brakes. I've never done them before. Not not complicated super piece of cake uh, so I did all brand new brakes all the way around this car it needed brakes um, still needs a couple more things that I'm gonna take care of before we sell it uh, one thing I'm not going to take care of though is it's got a cracked windshield and we only carry uh, just liability on this car because we literally never use it it's not literally never because literally would be never but we don't use it very often uh, we use it as just a spare car that will haul everybody around if we needed to. So the wife, when she's not with me or the kids aren't with us, uh, she could jump in that and she can go wherever she wants. But it's now it's time to upgrade and I'll tell you about that a little bit. We're getting rid of a 2011 vehicle uh, for a year 2000 vehicle. Again, it's just the spare car. It's nothing fancy. She doesn't drive it every day. Um, but... I came upon a great deal. Well, it's not a great deal. It's a great car. It's in great shape and maintained well. And I'm giving the guy what it's worth because he's a customer and buddy of mine. And well, it's just worth it. So we're getting rid of this thing uh, because I've already purchased a 2000 Lexus GS400. So um, that thing's in awesome shape. It's only got 135,000 miles on it, but he just put four grand into it a year ago which I have receipts for, all the major stuff, great Michelin tires. It's a great car. So uh, we've already detailed it, believe it or not. And uh, we put on my uh, the brand new triple trifecta top coat, which is the, um, the standalone new three-year coating, or you can put it on top of Super 7 to add lots of slickness, gloss, depth, clarity, all of that. Uh, so anyway, this Mazda, right here I'm working on let me show you and this is kind of where we're at so <clears throat> um, like I said yesterday I put brand new brakes on the car all the way around um, I was just underneath it inspecting for any leaks or whatever which there are not and uh, it's got a recent oil change it's got a uh, less than a year old battery like I said new brakes uh, the AC blower motor is brand new uh, the driver door window motor went bad, so not only did I replace the window motor, but I also um, had to fix the track that was in there. Sunroof opens and closes, no, no problem, no leaks from any of the windows. Um, like I said, the engine's got 165,000 miles on it. It's got all these leaves and debris and all kinds of crap. I pulled this plastic cover off just to look in there. I want to vacuum all that crap out. I'm going to do the engine bay detail and that kind of thing. I'll get rid of all that corrosion on the battery, which is not on the terminal post because I use um, uh, universal coating, believe it or not, uh, is what I use to make sure I don't get any corrosion on my batteries. Um, the body is not in horrible shape but it's also not in amazing shape no major dents there's a couple dings here here and there um, i am going to polish the car and treat all the trim um, i'm also going to polish the headlights and put in new headlights because one of them is burnt out anyway um, i have touch up coming for this car to get rid of all the nastiness on the door edges um, i also ordered a center cap for that wheel now I haven't detailed this car I've, I've been with this woman my wife I've been with her around four years and I have never cleaned this car ever not one time it literally just sits in the parking or in the in its parking spot until um, she needs to use it so you can see how nasty the leather is see how dirty it is 
You can also see where about a year ago I did some testing and cleaned that side. We'll go over there in a second. But you can see just how generally dirty it is. It does have a backup camera, no navigation, itty bitty little screen, but everything works properly. And that is what's wrong with the windshield. Um, I am not going to replace it, like I said. Uh, that v visor likes to hang down. I'm gonna see if I can secure that a little bit better. Headliner's all kinds of dirty. It's just generally dirty, like really dirty. And I'm, I know a guy, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I know a guy that can straighten all this crap out. Just nasty. Uh, this is the Grand Touring model, power windows, uh, Bose uh, sound system, moonroof, backup camera, automatic, the good stuff. So, you can see by the way these door panels and door jams look, I should be ashamed of myself. However, I am not. Nasty, nasty, nasty kid crap everywhere. Um, that vent that's missing, I'm looking for that currently. Yuck. Got a little bit of an issue here. I'm going to try to fix that. See if I can't get that all clipped properly. Um, it does have newer tires on it. These tires have probably 5,000 miles on them. If that, maybe not even that. It's pretty nasty. These jams are gross, lots of mold. Um, I did add a trailer hitch. Exhaust is good. Like I mentioned, the tires are awesome. Uh, mold. It's just... We drive it, I don't know, probably once a week. She takes it somewhere, whether it's the grocery store or pick up a kid or whatever. <clears throat> So it's not like it's it, it, it's been sitting because it hasn't, uh, but that's that's where we're at. Wheels definitely need to be cleaned up. Got to polish the headlights and all that. So that's just the overview of this 2011 Mazda CX-9. And uh, like I mentioned, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like before I actually do a detail on it. just disgusting you hear the wife giggle um, I have cleaned this door panel before uh, but it's you can see it's been a while and I did do some testing over here <clears throat> where you can obviously see it's going to look great when it's done I just got to do it <clears throat> got makeup standard deal makeup everywhere general dust up there let's see what that looks like Ew! all right so you guys got some stuff to look forward to on this detail um, I'm gonna get this all situated and put back where it goes oh god look at all the dirt the dirt the gross gross dirt so, all right, guys. Well, that's 10 minutes of me showing before this uh, detail. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and throw this video up and then as part one before, and then we'll do a part two of after I've gotten it uh, knocked out. But uh, I'm going to try to get it all done in one day, which I should be able to this week. Um, and that's where we're at. We've got lots of work to do. Uh, on customers cars and we're trying to move this thing so um, I'll bring you for a walk around of the Lexus uh, as soon as I actually have it in my possession we 
we already purchased it. I just don't have it with me. So um, as soon as we move this, the Lexus will come to the house and that's what she'll drive. So uh, we're gonna continue to drive this until we sell it. So if you want a 2011 Mazda CX-9 uh, Grand Touring with 165,000 miles, that is pretty much mechanically sound, if I do say so myself, uh, this is the one for you. Uh, NADA is 7,500 bucks. Um, I'm willing to take off what a new windshield would cost, which is about 300 bucks. I'm gonna call and confirm that uh, off of the, the, the total price. So um, if you're interested, let me know. 813-846-4406 or uh, I guess post on this video. This is part one, we'll do that. This is part one, this is the before. Just wait till I show you how awesome it looks when I'm done. So stay tuned for uh, part two. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So time for me to get to work. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me babble. Have a great day, guys. Check out part two.